Good day viewers, my name is Dalitino Koka and I welcome you once again to Dell with Electrical YouTube channel. Today we shall be discussing on battery management system which is usually called the battery equalizer. Rechargeable batteries and solar systems are usually the order of the day but a lot of people find it difficult to get batteries that will last or that will stand the test of time. Now this is not because the quality of the battery is bad or sometimes the quality of the battery might be good but the, the way it's being used might leads to the early damage of such batteries so what does it what is a battery management system battery management systems are electronic devices that help to mo monitor the system or monitor the well-being of every rechargeable batteries i'll give you an example if you connect two batteries in series or four batteries in series through parallel connection there's every tendency that one of the battery or two of the batteries might not charge to the optimum so you need what we call a battery equalizer or battery management system to ensure that all the batteries are being charged and discharged uni uniformly. So that is the essence of a battery man ma management system. So we have the, it helps to the active balance, while charging and discharging. That is one of the functions. And two, temperature, temperature control. It's very important to have an ideal temperature of your battery while you are charging and while you are discharging because when the temperature is not uniform you will discover that the acidic content of the battery tends to be it, 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 it tends to work very hard and when it works very, very hard it reduces the efficacy of the battery then we have the charging rate control so that sometimes you charge faster sometimes you charge less so these are the functions of this battery management system it ensures the optimum performance of your battery so let's talk about the um, active balancing now on the active balancing when you have two batteries connected together when one battery is not charging properly and the other one is charging properly what the battery management system does is to take at least one amps from that battery that is charging properly and remove it from the system so that it will balance the other battery that is not charging so we have batteries for 24 volts we have a um, battery management system for 48 volts we have that of 36 volts and above so i'm going to show you on my system now how these connections are being done so for this particular one we have the 24 volt system under the 24 volt system you should know that at least a minimum of two batteries will be connected now on this battery management system you see that there are three wires coming out from the battery management system you have the red you have the white and we have the black now when you are connecting 24 volt system two batteries you know that the two batteries will be connected in series so as they are connected in series the positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the battery management system which is the red the negative terminal is connected to the last negative terminal of the battery which is the black while the white terminal is connected to the loop whereby you have connected the batteries in series the, the negative to the positive the, the, the any of the points that you decide to connect it to you can decide to connect it to this point you might decide to connect it to the positive point or the negative point of the loop so in that case you have been able to connect this battery management system so this battery monitor system continues to monitor these two batteries continue to monitor these two batteries by the time it sees that one is charged and the other one is not charged properly it takes current from this and takes it back to this then for the 48 for the 24 volt battery which has like four batteries you know that you know 24 volt battery you can have four batteries in that case what you are going to do is you connect two batteries in series connect the other two batteries in series then connect the two output of these two in parallel so what you are going to do is you know that when the positive terminals of the two batteries now from these two sets if you look at this now the, the red it's you're still going to use one battery management system then the red part goes to the positive part of the battery because these two positive have been looped together that you are connecting it to the power supply then these two negative two has been looped together that you are connecting it to the power supply so this red now goes to any of the positive parts if you are connecting it's advisable that you connect it to the first set of series so you connect it to the first positive and later you connect it to the last negative then the plus that's the white one you can connect it to any of these terminals so in that case you have connected this battery management system correctly and it will continue to monitor the well-being of this system then you have the 36 volts now the 36 volt system you can that means you are connecting a minimum of three batteries 
because one batch is 12 volt, three batches is 36 volt. So what you are going to do in that case is that you must use a two battery management system. So in that two battery management system, that means you are having six output terminals. So on the first terminal, the red is connected to the positive terminal of the first battery. The black is connected to the negative terminal of the second battery using the first battery management system while the white is connected to the loop between the negative and the positive that made it in series the same thing happens too on the second battery management system you connect the red to the positive terminal of the second battery and you connect the black to the negative terminal of the third battery then the white the loop between the negative and the positive by the time you have connected it you see that these two battery management system will continue to monitor this battery to ensure its well-being then the last one is the 48 battery management system for the 48 battery system usually you are going to connect four batteries so irrespective of how you are going to connect it in series or in parallel you are connecting four batteries so what is going to happen is yeah, in, you, you, you can't use two battery management systems because there are already existing 48 volt management system directly that comes with six wire. But in this case, if you are going to use just the normal 24 volt battery management system, you are going to use three of them. So in that three, in that three, you connect the positive of the first one to the positive of the battery, negative of the second one to the negative of the battery, then the white one you connect it to the loop between the negative and the positive. Same thing too, the second battery management system is connected to the positive of the second battery and the negative is connected to the negative of the third battery. Then the terminal, the white terminal is connected to the loop between the negative and positive of the second and third battery. Then the third battery management system, the red is connected to the positive of the third battery, the black is connected to the negative of the fourth battery then the white is connected to the loop between the negative and the positive. Once you have done this, you will discover that the four batteries are now being monitored by this battery management system. And there will never be a time whereby a particular battery will charge more than the other battery. And there will never be a time whereby you dissipate one battery above the next battery. Then we also have a battery management system that comes with just one single unit. In that case, it comes with over eight terminals red and black red and black red and black red and black that one is easier if you look at this now on your screen you will see that the positive and negative is connected to the first battery's positive and negative the positive and negative of the second one is connected to the positive and negative of the second battery same thing with the third battery same thing with the fourth battery so by the time you've connected this you will discover that you the, you're monitoring the exact efficacy and well-being of this battery then the second function of your battery management system is temperature monitoring so you see this battery management system it continues to monitor the temperature of the battery's performance now if the temperature of the battery is between 18 degrees and 25 degrees the battery management system will not do anything it just assume it's working within its normal required function but immediately as the temperature increases above 25 degrees centigrade then the chemical reaction in battery tends to change at that point you see that the battery management system which starts to regulate its functions to ensure that the temperature comes back to 25 degrees if it comes back to 25 degrees again it cuts off its function and continue to monitor monitor so you can see that it's very important that the battery management system is installed in your battery and the last function is the charging rate now you see that some people complain that my battery does not charge fast once the battery is down before it comes up again it takes some time before it discharge it discharges almost immediately so the charging rate of this battery battery management system can help to boost it if your battery charges maybe for example charges to full capacity within seven to eight hours then when you use this battery management system it can optimize the charging power to like five hours so you see that the battery management system has so much importance but a lot of people tend not to install battery management system during their solar panel installation or solar power installation so i advise that in course of this video try as much as possible to see that when you are carrying out any solar installation henceforth you should use the battery management system to ensure the longevity of your battery which is one of the most important aspects so if you have if you have found this video very useful kindly share to your friends and invite your friends too to come and like our youtube channel so that we'll continue to produce more veritable and educative videos from time to time
Thank you for coming to Dell with Electrical YouTube channel. See you in our subsequent video. Thank you.